YouTube was good. It's your boy Jody Joe. Welcome to Jody's Corner. Thank you guys so very much for being here. There is some breaking news that's going to be hitting the MCU fandom, and it's already hit because I was over on Popcorn Planet for the live stream. And he broke the news because he has this ties with Fandom Wire, which means I'm going to be able to Jody Thomas this thing. Ladies and gentlemen, Killmonger is coming back to Black Panther 2. What's up? Many fans have wanted this. Many fans have not wanted this because they said, how can you bring Killmonger back because he's dead? How can you bring a bad guy back? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you guys my full entire opinion on this matter. Yes, it does seem, and I believe it to be true, because I have Jody Domus this thing for quite a while now. Eric Killmonger is not dead. He will return for Black Panther 2. At least that's what's being spoken about, and I think that shit is real. So thank you guys for being here. Let's get right into it. So we all saw Black Panther, most of us. Eric Killmonger said, bury me in the oceans with the, my ancestors who jumped from the ships, because even they knew that death was better than bondage. He pulled out the dagger out of his chest, fell down. We never seen him die. We saw him pass out, lay out. It's quite simple and quite easy that T'Challa then carried his body to Shuri and Shuri then healed him with the Wakandan technology using the vibranium. Quite simple. Uh, we've seen that they healed Pete Ross, that bead stabilized him made him go to sleep, healed him. He was shot in his spine. It's crazy. So they have amazing ability. So it's not far-fetched to, to, to understand how Eric Killmonger could either have died or not have died. So let's use the two routes. I said that uh, T'Challa could have carried him to Shuri to save his life before time was up. But let's say that he did die. What if he actually did die? And what if T'Challa actually did bury him in the ocean with his ancestors who jumped from the ships? Well, we know that there's Wakandan divers that find Lat uh, um, uh, Atlantis. Namor is going to be in Black Panther 2. Uh, 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 hopefully, the tease for Namor. And Doom is going to be there. I also said, I think a year ago, that they're going to build the next MCU phase of Phase 4 is going to be about Doom War. Jody Damas! Mini boss level. I don't think we're ready to go big yet. I think we need to go mini boss, do more, and then escalate from there. And that exactly looks like that's exactly what they're doing. Jody's Corner is the place where you want to be. Uh, I'm just calling these, shooting these out the sky. It's, it's incredible. But the Wakandan divers that dive down can then Wakandan dive their way. Why, why would there be Wakandan divers? That's the question. Wakanda died. We, we saw in Infinity War, I believe they were talking about an earthquake under the ocean, that there was tremors and stuff going on. That was mentioned in, I believe, Infinity War when they were talking to, was that Okoye? I think it was Okoye. So it could be that. Or you could have Wakanda divers going down there to get the body of Killmonger. Eric Stevens, Killmonger, retrieve his body, bring him back to life. How? Well, in the comic books... Kevin Feige himself said that they're going to explore Wakanda and expand onto the characters of Wakanda. Wakanda is a beautiful and amazing place. And as somebody who has actually read probably 80% of all of Black Panther's comic books all the way back from the 60s to the modern, modern day, there's a lot of characters within Black Panther that could bring Eric Killmonger to life. Um, Eric Killmonger was killed in the Black Panther comic books and he came back to life twice he was murdered he was defeated murdered killed and came back to life one of the times was more mysterious there's but there's a lot of characters within wakanda especially if you start to explore into characters like echebe or if you explore into characters like uh dr voodoo dr voodoo is a character who is a, a, a wakandan witch doctor Obviously, you guys are seeing where I'm going with this. Uh, there could be some type of resurrection voodoo type, type of stuff going on that brings Eric Killmonger back from the ancestral plane, chilling up there with Joe Boo and all them. Uh, Dr. Voodoo is a really uh, great way to introduce a new character and then also use that character to bring somebody that's really important back, Eric Killmonger. So now that we've established different ways of how Eric Killmonger could not only come back from the dead, but how he could not have died at all and T'Challa actually saved his life. So we know that we've heard also that Shuri, that's what Andy was reporting, 
Randy reported that Shuri is going to be the, she's going to suit suit up. She's going to be in the Black Panther suit. Will she be Black Panther? We don't know. It doesn't make, it don't make sense to me that she could be Black Panther. I think Eric Killmonger makes more sense as Black Panther because let me give you guys this detail that a lot of people haven't paid attention to. The art shape herbs are gone. There's only one person who is powerful enough who actually has the Black Panther power. It's actually two. It was T'Challa and it was Eric Killmonger. They both consume the heart shape herb. Those are the last Wakandans who have the powers of the Black Panther. Shuri does not have the power of the Black Panther. So I believe that she will not be juiced up in superhuman. She will probably put on a suit and the suit will do a lot for her. But her her herself will not be uh, the warrior of Wakanda. I don't see it. and She very well could be. But that's not what I would do. Eric Killmonger has the powers of the Black Panther of the heart-shaped herb. Chadwick Boseman's T'Challa has powers of the heart-shaped herb. There's no siphoning blood. It's, that's ridiculous. It's about consuming that herb in its raw form in a certain way in order to gain the power of the Black Panther under the eye of their god, Bost. That's what makes it all happen. So it makes so much sense that Eric Killmonger will come back because he has the super-powered Black Panther within him you know, through bots, through the ancestral plane and all that. It's one of those two characters. Now that since T'Challa is gone, it has to be Eric Killmonger. I think Shuri might have some fan service moments where she might put on the suit and try to fight for the throne or something like that, you know, because the, 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 the throne is in dismay. People are trying to claim the throne. But I believe ultimately we should have Eric Killmonger come back to life, realize that, my God, that sunset that I saw was beautiful and the king still took me and he buried me. He gave me my wish. He buried me with my ancestors who jumped from the ships. And here I am back with the second chance. He actually took. And then and then and then we learned that he actually went and sought out Jobu's body. That T'Challa, after burying Killmonger in the ocean, he went and sought out Jobu's body. Or he, uh, instead of burying him with the ocean, he gave him a, a, a proper burial so that he and his father can be united in the ancestral plane. So by the time Killmonger comes back to life, we could already see visions of him and Jobu in the ancestral plane. And Jobu's shocked. How, how did I get here? And then you see T'Chaka, and then Jobu sees T'Chaka in the ancestral plane. My brother, I am so sorry for what I have done to you. And Jobu, it is okay, brother. How am I here? And then T'Chaka looks at him. My son. T'Challa has given you a proper burial and he's up there and then Killmonger's up there how am I here dad and then him and Jobu have they all are he's and then he's learning up in the ancestral plane what it means to be a true Wakandan because he was given how are you there Killmonger because T'Challa gave you an, a proper burial so you could be with the ancestors in the ancestral plane up there training with the force by the time Killmonger comes back from the ancestral plane, he will be a Black Panther, bro. Man, let me write this script. Hey, man. Come. Bro. <sighs> Ryan Coogler, homie. Hit me up, dog. I got some great ideas. We can really make our, we can really make these eyes leak and make this shit epic. Killmonger be like, what kind of throne? Give me a chance. Let me come back. And he just comes back. Dr. Voodoo bring him back. Wow. He comes back a new man. He comes back a king. Everybody's afraid of him, though, because he's Killmonger. But he has to convince Wakanda he's here. He's a different person because he was in the ancestral plane learning from Jobu and T'Challa and from T'Chaka how to be Wakanda. And he has to prove himself and help fight against Namor, Dr. Doom. Bruh, give me a pen and paper, man. Freak. What the heck going on? Hey. Bro, we need to make this type of stuff happen, bro. There's no reason that these MCU movies, these DC movies, shouldn't be hidden. And a lot of these MCU movies are hidden. I'm not trying to complain, but I've seen some movies out here that just ain't hidden. Everything is laid out there. Why we ain't... I ain't special. My mind ain't special. I know these people went to school. They could come up with some amazing stuff. What's going on, man? Hey, Ryan Cooler, hit me up, Hammy. Hit me up, Hammy. West Coast boy, LA native. What's happening? Man, this is this is just what it is. Killmonger coming back blows my mind.
Black Panther 2 is going to be, it's crazy how I thought, I said, let's give it a pass, and I'm still giving it a pass, even if it has issues, because rest in peace to, to, to Chadwick Boseman, man, the king, but man, if this fool comes back like I think he is, Black Panther 2's gonna be lit. I'm bursting through the seams with so many amazing ideas, guys. I invite you guys to be at the, at the Just Does League live stream this Friday at 5 p.m. Pacific time, live in studio on Jody's Corner. The Just Does League, we're going to have a full discussion. The best pop culture show on YouTube. There's no place like it. I invite you all to be there. You've never seen nothing like it. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you like the real content. If you don't like the real opinions or your hater, keep it pushing. I'm Jody Joe, and I'm out this thing, man. Deuces! Deuces.